Thank you, Speaker. I ju we're just getting a real sense about how this next campaign is going to go. And if you think that's going to put us off, you've got another thing coming. Because we'll be ready. We will be ready for you, my friend. America. The struggle we take as our struggle. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the acting premier. Mr. Speaker, this provincial government's second career program is rife with problems. Recently in this House, the Minister of Training, Colleges and Universities lauded the program's success based on the number of people using it. I noticed the Minister didn't comment on how many people actually get a job out of it. Exactly. My constituent, Mike Seeley, a father of four, remains in exactly the same financial situation as he was when he qualified for the second career program. Will the acting premier explain to him why upon entering this second year of his paralegal program that his living allowance is cut off? Oh. Thank you, Speaker. We appreciate the question about one of the most like, short programs that the government has ever brought in in response to a serious world recession that affected Ontario, frankly, more than any province in Canada. And in particular, areas in Ontario whose manufacturing jobs were lost, uh, those really were people working in sectors that were particularly hard hit. $355 million is an historic amount to pour into a brand new pro program called Second Careers. To this particular case, we're happy to look at this particular individual. We wouldn't have that kind of data here to respond to that. But overall, these are individuals who have to make a hard choice mid-career, in their 40s, 50 years old, where they've already gone to school, they already have 20 years in one particular uh, location with an employer. It is a monumental decision, and our government stepped forward to help these folks with the kinds of expenses that ordinarily younger students wouldn't have to incur. It was an important program, especially... Supplementary. Speaker, with that response, I can understand why there was reference made to her diminished intellect earlier. Uh, Mr. Speaker, through the chair, she's cuckoo. <laughs> Honest to God. Speaker, with that response, I can understand why there was reference made to her diminished intellect earlier. Withdraw the comment. I withdraw. Oh, yeah. You guys make every day. Mr. Speaker, whether it's HST, microfit, or eco taxes, this government fails time after time to consider the real people. Order. Please continue. Whether it's HST, microfit, or eco taxes, this government fails time after time to consider the real people they affect with their decisions. My office has received numerous complaints from people in this program. They say that your ministry qualified them for financial assistance at the start of the program, only to have that assistance yanked out from underneath them right. partway through their studies. Perhaps the acting premier can answer a general question. Why are you promising down and out workers a second chance and then stealing their financial assistance from them? Exactly. No. Just going to ask the honourable member to withdraw that last comment, please. How about withdraw. just taking it back? Acting Premier. Thank you, Speaker. I do, we're just getting a real sense about how this next campaign is going to go. And if you think that's going to put us off, you've got another thing coming. Because we'll be ready. We will be ready for you, my friend. The reality is I'll be heading down to that particular member's riding, and I will say, here's an individual that opposed the program to give these folks a second chance at a career. They opposed the opportunity to retrain workers who knew they wouldn't be able to get a job back in that same sector, that they needed to develop new skills.